The small dying seaside town of Yesterby has been turned upside down by the sudden death of a young woman by the name of Angela. As a would-be peacemaker, and to some people, pest, Angela's passing has affected everyone. However, Angela's sister Connie has been changed in an unusual way. She can now hear the voice of Angela giving her guidance. It's up to the two of them to mend fences and try to pull Yesterby back from the brink. Closer the Distance is a difficult game to describe in genre terms. It has simulation and management elements, but the focus is on narrative over what those types of games usually offer. The player, in the role of the not-quite-departed Angela, has the power to influence the actions of townspeople, just Connie at first, but later others as the narrative advances. Left alone, people will attend to their basic needs, but the player can also direct them to interact with each other and help out around the town. Characters who meet under certain circumstances, whether naturally or with player influence, will have conversations detailing their past experiences. These discussions are the heart of the game and are the key to understanding the problems facing Yesterby. Those who were closest to Angela will sometimes unlock memories that reveal more about Angela, who is otherwise a somewhat enigmatic figure. The narrative in Closer the Distance is about secrets, but not necessarily deep, dark, sinister secrets. These are the kind of mundane secrets that people keep from loved ones and lead to problems. Ultimately, this is a story about dealing with change and learning to be honest. It's not as epic as narrative-driven video games tend to be, but it's certainly an earnest experience and one that might have resonance with anyone who's had similar life experiences.